What's going on guys, Talk Nourisity here, back for another breakfast with TNC. I hope you guys are doing really well and I've got a good day lined up. For breakfast this morning, it's cornflakes with a few grapes in. The only problem is though, this is proper schoolboy. Because I put the milk in really early, my cornflakes have gone soggy and it's just not the same. But accompanied with a pear, which just makes everything better. And then a cup of coffee to wake me up in my TNC mug. I keep on banging on about it, but to be honest, I don't care. I'll stop banging on about it at the end of the week. If you haven't already got a TNC mug, please do head over to my store. Link's in the description and pick one up. It costs like a tenner. It helps the channel out. It helps the Norwich business out. It helps you out with your hot beverages. It just It's just a win-win. Just go and do it, people, if you've got £10 spare. If you haven't, I completely understand, but it would be much appreciated because what else are you gonna do with a tenner? Like, buy an inflatable canary? That leads nicely on to the first story. Inflatable canaries. Uh, Norwich City given 3,000 inflatable canaries out to young Norwich City fans ahead of this weekend's game against Sunderland. And to be honest, like, I love it. I love it. It's slightly, I don't know if it is Tim Park, actually. I don't think it is. Um, and there's a photo here of um, loads of inflatable uh, canaries on the terraces. I didn't know that was a thing, so I learned something in there. Uh, apparently, loads of people used to take inflatable canaries. I saw loads at Wembley, but, you know, I love these kind of in initiatives from Norwich City. It shows that the club is really taking this seriously. It was clap banners and playing on the Ball City before the game and slower um, before the Newcastle game, and it worked so well. The atmosphere was brilliant. We won the game. We're now introducing inflatable canaries. We've got Jeremy Goss coming on the pitch. We're playing on the Ball City before the game. We've got like things going on around the ground before the game. I love this from Norwich City, so that's fantastic news. And get your inflatable canary if you're young enough. And if you're too old, then just ask for one anyway. And in, anyway, I'm sure they'll give it to you. The next story is um, all about Duncan Watmore at Sunderland, the young player who scored against us actually uh, in the away leg. Um, apparently he might be coming back for this game against us, uh, Norwich. Um, he's been injured since February with a, with a knee, with an ankle injury. Uh, but he's coming. He's back in training and it looks like he's going to make the bench. I really rate Duncan Watmore. I think he's a fantastic player uh, and, and someone who could definitely cause trouble. So for us, this isn't great news. But at the same time, it could work well because Sunderland might be desperate to change something. They might ch chuck Watmore back in there and be in his first game back. It might sort of not so go so well. He, he won't be up to match fitness. So who knows? Duncan Watmore um, might be... Uh, in contention to play this weekend. The next one is once again Sunderland related. I'm just trying to educate you uh, what's going on in the Sunderland camp at the moment because to be honest, who searches about Sunderland news? Um, not, not many people except for me. Um, why? I don't know. Um, Sam Allardyce says he might be making tactical changes ahead of this weekend's game against us. Um, he said it's a very delicate situation as a manager, so to make a decision, uh, particularly as the game is so vital, it's very tough. We've looked at it, talked about it, and done a bit of practice. Uh, that has got the lads thinking, am I or aren't I? Uh, that they don't quite know at the moment. I've played, played, I've played around with it a bit and got them thinking 
a little bit. So he's basically saying that he wants to make changes. He doesn't think it's going right, which once again, it's a big risk to take in a game like this. If it backfires, it could go horribly wrong. If it works well, then it could keep them up this season. But Aladai's taking risks. Obviously, their current game plan isn't working at the moment. They lost to Leicester last week. They haven't won in something like seven games. They drew four of their last five. They need a win desperately, and they're changing things going into it. Uh, the second from last bit of news is Jake Keane has gone on an emergency loan to Swindon, uh, a seven-day emergency loan, possibly the most pointless loan deal ever. You know, Jake Keane, no idea why we ever signed him. I'm sure there was some kind of logic behind it, but I can't see it. A terrible goalkeeper, will never make the Norwich first team. Uh, and he's gone to Swindon on a seven-day loan, so well done to Jake Keane. Uh, and finally, the, probably the biggest bit of news of yesterday, actually, it came out, uh, TalkSport tweeted it. Um, apparently, Michael Oliver shouldn't have been allowed to referee the Crystal Palace against Norwich game and uh, because he's a big Newcastle fan, apparently. Uh, and, you know... Newcastle in a relegation fight. Obviously, they don't want us to win. Um, and they're all saying that the Matt Jarvis penalty should have definitely, definitely been a penalty. Or the Matt Jarvis decision anyway, when he was sort of sandwiched out of it by Delaney. For me, oh, this is a very, I don't know, it's a weak argument. I don't think we were good enough in the game. I think if we were like played really well and deserved to win it and it cost us because of that penalty decision, yeah, I might be a bit more worked up about it. But to be honest, the game's gone. It was a week ago. I still see people moaning about it. Fair enough. If you think the FA's corrupt or whatever, then go ahead. Normally only Leeds fans think that. But um, that little dig. Sorry, Leeds fans. Loads of you have ordered the TNT mugs. I love you, really. Um, but it's a bit of a weak like, argument. I didn't think Oliver had a terrible game. I think I've seen penalties given for that. I've seen them not given. You know, it was very much a 50-50 one. Um, it all sort, of, all sort of came up. Um, because of Kevin Friend um, and his duties for the Stoke versus Tottenham game. Um, yeah, because apparently he's, he's a Leicester fan or something. I don't know. But apparently Michael Oliver shouldn't have refed our game because he's got loose links to the game. I don't know. Uh, anyway, that's all the news for today. I hope you have a fantastic Friday. A massive, massive game coming up tomorrow. Please do feel free to hit the like button. Let's try and hit 100 likes. The last one, uh, last breakfast with TNC, nearly hit 200 likes, actually, which is absolutely fantastic. And if you haven't already, go and get yourself a TNC mug, because why the hell not? And I'm about to tuck in to my soggy cornflakes. Lucky me. Thanks for watching, and peace out.